Hello class. Hello Professor Pearson. Uh, my name is Ricky May and today I want to do my presentation on healthier living. And the reason I chose healthy living is because in society today we're living in a much more healthy conscious world. And me personally, I had to get on the healthier side of um, the way I eat, the way I work out, um, my sleep. So I just want to share um, a little bit of my experiences and just how we can be a better, um, I can be a better me, you can be a better you. So um, first thing I want to do was um, to discuss sleep. Now I know um, most of y'all in the class, y'all probably about 19, 20, 21, 22, and um, you know, you're still young, and we think that when we're young, we can burn both sides of the candles, and we don't need as much sleep, or we can eat anything that we want to eat. Um, we can pretty much do whatever, and it, 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 it won't have any effects on us. But as time goes on, it, it does affect you, and you don't really notice it until it's, it's done hit. And as adults, we need at least seven to nine hours of sleep to be fully functional um, throughout the day. Uh, sleep is very important. Um, you, you always want to be at your best and, and have your mind on point, so you need your sleep. Um, I know me personally, um, I had to, because I thought I can function with four or five hours of sleep, and then I'll go to work, and I'd be struggling. So, and I, I know, I know myself that I need sleep. That's something, that, I mean, you know, we all know, but we take it for granted. So, I always get you as much sleep as you can. Um, second of all, um, we have to watch what we eat. Um, as you get older, you can't just eat fast food all the time. Pizzas and burgers, fries, that stuff will catch up to you. Um, you want to get checked out regularly with your doctor and uh, make sure that everything is good with your, with your body and with your health. Um, me personally, I had to get a pacemaker about four or five years ago. I mean, I'm 38 years old, so I was still kind of fairly young when I got it, and I had to get a second opinion. And basically, um, the pacemaker, my, my heart was too beating too low, so um, it was like in the, maybe like the, the higher 20s, and it's supposed to be like in the, you know, the, the 60s or 50s. Um, right now, the pacemaker is set to where my heartbeat can't go below a 50. Now, when it was low, like I get sleepy, or you know, sometimes I just like I'd be at my desk at work and I just pass out. So they was kind of like worried about that, you know, with me driving and everything. They didn't want me to just pass out, so I had to get a pacemaker. Now, with that comes, um, you know, it makes you put things in perspective. So I was like, I gotta stop doing a lot of the things that I do. And I had to take, you know, my health more seriously. So, like, with my eating, I like I like to eat everything. And a lot of stuff that's not good for you, I like to eat. So, I had to cut out, like, all my, my chitlins and soul food. And just, you can eat every little stuff in moderation. But, like, you want to make sure that you're getting the proper nutrients and the and the vitamins that you need in your body. So now um, I, I put together me a um, a food chart, and basically I I have a schedule to where like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and little snacks. In the morning when I get up, um, I probably eat two boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs, some oatmeal. Or a banana, or a protein shake, some as that, 
in that family. Then for my snacks, I usually eat some type of um, nuts, maybe like some pecans or some peanuts or, you know, basically whatever you eat. And everybody's body type is different. Everybody, you know, wants to 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 do different things. But, I mean, you don't have to, to be a bodybuilder or you don't have to be the, the skinniest person in the world. You just want to be healthy and you want to do whatever um, – it takes for you to to do that. So if your, your cholesterol is high, you know, cut out salts, you know, eat more healthier, um, you know, just do whatever the doctor says. And that brings me to my next um, point of living healthier, um, working out. You want to make sure that you, you work out on a regular, um, get your cardio in, um, get you a, a nice little routine. To, to start out with, um, you don't have to get a personal trainer or spend money on that. You can look up your little routine on um, on YouTube and, and find something that you can that you can adapt to and, and and work out with every day. If you already have something, just be consistent with it, and you'll you'll notice that you'll start to feel better. You'll start to you know look better. You'll start to act better, you'll just be a better person, your mood, your attitude will change, and, you know, if you, if you st stay true to those th three things, getting more sleep, eating healthier, and working out, then that'd be the start of a, a healthier la lifestyle that you can incorporate everything else that you need to as you need to, so, um, that was my speech, and if anybody has any questions, raise your hand or send me a message. Um, thank you, and good night.